Hey guys, Jeremiah here to review bag valve mask ventilation of the apneic adult patient. So before we start, there's a couple things I want to cover. Uh, one, it's a five minute station. Uh, secondly, when you're performing this station, you need to remember that you have to ventilate your patient for one full minute. So the first time you ventilate, it's going to be unattached to oxygen. Make sure you do it for a full minute. The second time you ventilate, you're going to make sure that your O2 tubing is connected. And again, you're going to do it for a minute. Uh, with that, in the station, make sure you're wearing a watch. You need to keep track of time. So before we start this skill, you're going to be given two minutes to look over your equipment. I highly recommend that you do that. You want to make sure that you're familiar with the equipment that you're about to use, especially if you're testing at a facility that's not your training center. So in this instance, you want to make sure that you look at the O2 tank, uh, look at the knobs. This has a big bulky knob. You want to make sure that you're familiar with what turns the regulator on exactly. Right? This is the flow meter uh, selector here. I also want to look at the bag valve mask. I want to make sure that I know where I'm going to connect the tubing. Look at the stem on the regulator going back to the O2 tank. You want to make sure you know uh, where the oxygen comes out. When you get to your suction device, take a look at the catheter, see if it has a hole in it where you would initiate suction. Make sure it's a rigid tip catheter. And you also want to look to see where your power button is. All right, so I'm familiar with my equipment. I believe I have everything I need. I'm now going to ask my proctor for the scenario. Upon arrival to the scene, you find a patient lying motionless on the floor. Bystanders tell you that the patient suddenly became unresponsive. The scene is safe and no hemorrhage or other immediate problem is found. You have five minutes to complete this skill. My BSI is on, I'm checking to make sure my scene is safe. We're gonna enter the scene and assess for responsiveness. So when I walk in, is my patient alert? Your patient is not alert. Verbal response, sir, can you hear me? Your patient does not respond. I'm gonna perform painful stimuli by grabbing the trap. Patient does not respond. So my patient is unresponsive. At this point, I'm going to activate EMS assistance. Next, I'm gonna come in and I'm going to assess for pulse and respiratory rate simultaneously. Looking for pulse and breathing simultaneously. Your patient is unresponsive, apneic, and has a weak pulse of 60. Noted. Now we're going to open my patient's airway using a head tilt chin lift maneuver. At this point, what do I see? You notice the mouth is full of secretions and vomitus. So I'm going to prepare my rigid tip suction catheter. I'm going to make sure that all the tubing is connected. I'm then going to turn my suction device on. I'm going to reopen, reposition my airway, measure from the corner of the mouth to the tip of the ear. We're going to insert no further than I can see. I'm then going to initiate suction on the way out in a circular motion for no more than 15 seconds. The mouth and oropharynx are clear. Now I'm going to measure pro appropriate size OPA, from the corner of the mouth to the tip of the ear, inserting tip up, rotating 180 degrees. No gag reflex is present, and the patient accepts the airway adjunct. Reopening my airway, I'm going to get my first breath in. I'm going to ventilate my patient one breath every five to six seconds for a full minute. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000. Breathe. 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000, 4 1,000, 5 1,000, 2. 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000, 4 1,000, 5 1,000, 3. 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000, 4 1,000, 5 1,000, 4. 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000, 4 1,000, 5 1,000, 5. 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000. 4 1,000, 5 1,000, 6, 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000, 4 1,000, 5 1,000, 7, 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000, 4 1,000, 5 1,000, 8, 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000, 4 1,000, 5 1,000, 9, 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000, 4 1,000, 5 1,000, 10, I'm now going to reassess for pulse and breathing simultaneously. Patient's condition is unchanged. All right, so I'm now going to 
I'll take my O2 tank, turn it on. I'm going to connect my tubing to the bag. Other end to the tank, set it to 15 liters, 100% oxygen. I'm going to reopen my patient's airway. I'm now going to reventilate my patient one breath every five to six seconds for a full minute. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000, three. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000, two. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, five 1,000, three. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000, four 1,000, Five one thousand four. One one thousand two one thousand three one thousand four one thousand five one thousand five. One one thousand two one thousand three one thousand four one thousand five one thousand. One one thousand two one thousand three one thousand four one thousand five one thousand seven. One one thousand two one thousand three one thousand four one thousand five one thousand eight. One one thousand two one thousand. How would you know if you were delivering appropriate volumes with each ventilation? I would look for equal and bilateral rise and fall of the patient's chest. I'm done with this station.